Come on. Oh, we're totally slack over here. That means I got a fish. I got it. Yep. <laughs> I look over and this one's totally slack. At least it's not in the hole. <laughs> that, was, that was something. Come on, buddy. Oh, and then I got this thing on the wrong setting. You guys ever do that? Where you put it on that setting where it doesn't lock? Oh, or maybe this is having a problem. Huh, anyway, nice fish. He was waiting for me to come and get him. <laughs> Thanks for biting, buddy. Thanks for being that first fish of the evening. I really appreciate it. What do you guys think? Definitely not keeping any fish tonight, but probably wouldn't keep this one anyway. We'll go ahead and get him back. Thanks for being the first fish. And bye, buddy. Kick off. There you go. Get going. Get going. Get going. There you go. Welcome back to the channel, one and all. Fish Brain Shane here, and I'm glad you're joining me on this episode. I gotta tell you, passing 5,000 subscribers, I was just reminiscing the other day with my wife, and I was saying, you know, when I first started this, I was really kind of hoping to get to 5,000 or maybe 10,000 subscribers, and now my goals have changed. I really want to get to 100,000 subscribers. So being on such a great pace is fantastic. I'm really excited about it. And I am so happy that you are joining me on this journey. We're gonna get there together. Let me tell you something. I'm going out this evening for one reason and one reason only. I haven't been fishing for quite some time and uh, it's been below zero, been really, really cold and windy and i just been kind of hunkering down at home and working on a few things and editing and uh, working on my merchandise shop, which is going to be all brand new very soon. The storefront's going to be better. It's going to be a local merchant um, that I can work with and make sure that everything is exactly as I want it. So I'm really excited about that. I've got COVID all in my house. Now, I don't have COVID, but my one of my sons tested positive. Two of my other sons, and yes, I have six sons, but I have three left at home that are teenagers. Two of my other sons, they actually uh, are sick, but haven't tested positive yet. So I've just been hanging out at home. I haven't been able to go into my regular daytime job. I've been having to work from home, and uh, I'm really bored. I just want to get out of the house. So this is the first day in Minnesota that it's feeling warm outside, and I know to a lot of you, 30 degrees isn't warm, but to me, it feels awesome. So I didn't even wear a coat into the truck. Um, I'm just gonna go check and I'm gonna see if the lakes are drivable. First time driving out this year, always kind of uh, clinches up the butakas a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So again, I'm excited to get out there. I'm excited to get on some fish, but I'm just hoping to live through the journey out. Stick around, let's see if we do. You know what? I gotta tell you, right over there, that's where the music is. Let's go fishing, let's go fishing, let's go fishing now. Well, we're getting to a spot here where we should see a little bit more action. Eh? I get to this spot and I don't clearly see that there are trucks out there I'm definitely gonna walk out are they driving in I 
don't see one. I see. Oh yeah. Well, I'm definitely seeing people uh, walk out, but I'm also seeing trucks my size drive out. So I am totally comfortable going and pulling out there, and getting myself onto some fish. I don't want to be over dramatic. I'm just saying, man, like this first time is always like I can barely swallow and it's a little bit of a panic for me, you know? So here we go, you guys. This is the spot. Let's drive on. And we're gonna drive on. Let's see how it looks. There is a road. I'm gonna put it in four wheel drive. Oh, come on, get around this corner and see a bunch of really good things. Yeah, there's trucks, for sure. For sure there's trucks, yes. All right, man, I'm gonna feel a lot better about this now. <laughs> Let's get out there and get fishing, right? Now it's time to get out, drill a hole and see how crazy I am. <laughs> Dude, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah. That's exciting. All right, got fish, got everything out here. The wind coming from that way, perfect. So I can set my shelter up right here. Out of the wind. Pretty excited. Got it all set up, man. All set up nice. Got two holes. Got my minnows, my poles, my snacks. Everything's nice and cozy. The truck's right out there. So if I need anything, I'm good to go. Time to catch some fish, man. Let's get on it. Okay, so I'm going with a minnow on my dead stick there, the one that I'm just gonna leave in. And then I'm gonna go with a uh, plastic, one of those wedge taily guys that I've been using this year. I've been liking the heck out of them, you guys, if you can find them which I'm sure you can. There's a lot of people making them. They're just those little wedges that you tear off and they're really, really action packed. <laughs> I'm telling you, fish love them. Well, that's the nice thing about having that dead stick over there. Sometimes you look over and you got a little surprise. Got one. Whew. This is a small guy, but I think we're gonna get on some numbers tonight, you guys. Yeah, look at this guy. Holy tiny heck. <laughs> oh man, you just gotta laugh when you get some giants like this. Let me uh, let me show them off properly. Check this fella out. Probably in the three to four inch variety. Actually, he's probably a four or five inch fish. Just a beauty. Let's get him back in there. Notice how I reeled him up really nice so his eyes aren't poking out too much. He doesn't have that, uh, I don't know what to call it, but the bends. So we're just gonna get this guy back. Get out of here, little fella. It's a hell of a lot better than sitting at home with everybody that has COVID, that's for sure. Man, if any of you out there have that disease, I've got, uh, I've got sympathy for you. It's not fun, it's not nice. Um, no matter how you feel about it or feel about masks or mandates or whatever, um, the disease itself is not fun for the people that get it, you know, the, uh, the virus. So just have a little bit of empathy for them, man. Have a little bit of love in your heart. You know what I'm saying? That's all I'm saying. Was that a bite already? After I said a little love in your heart? Yeah, I'm pretty sure one's coming right after it now. So I'm gonna just let, let this come and get it. Got him. <laughs> Have a little love in your heart there, little fella. 
Yeah. Oh, this is the, oh, I never fixed this line yet. I gotta fix it after this one. Thanks for coming out and hanging out with us a little bit, being alien abducted for us. This little, uh, this little bay is kind of famous for that red rash there. Crazy. Well, we'll get him back. Bye, buddy. See you later. Oh, get back down there. Come on now. You're better off than that. Let's go. All right. A little bit of advice. You ever have this happen? Don't just leave it. Grab it by the tail. Throw it down like that. And you see how it just rocketed off? That's the way you do it. Got him. Stay hooked, you son of a gun. There we go. Not a big fish, but again, after some numbers tonight, I wanted to come out and just catch some fish, you guys. So there'll be a few bigger ones that'll show up later. And even these smaller ones are really healthy, but putbackers nonetheless. Bye, little buddy. <laughs> you can't come back that way. You gotta go that way. Bye. Got him. That was a super light bite. Whoo, I was just gonna say, they've been biting light. Oh, I saw that one, that was a good one. Oh man. You know what, you guys? I'm changing this jig. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lose fish all night, that's for sure. Come on. You like. Oh, there we go. That was a good bite. And some good head shakes. Yeah, decent little fish. Now we're getting into some better fish. I think as the night progresses on here, much like my last video, we're gonna get into much better fish, but look at the purple in that fish. Just a beauty. Man, that is a beautiful fish. Well, let's get you back, buddy. <laughs> Go on down now. Make your way down there. <laughs> Bye. Here comes one hot. Got him. He was definitely hot after it. <laughs> yeah. Decent fish too. Biggest one of the night so far, you guys. That one came out of nowhere. I saw the mark come flying up through there and uh, I was hoping it'd be a good fish. And it is. Best fish of the night so far. Wow. Definitely. Definitely uh, a big difference between this one and a lot of the other fish. Just a nice, big, thick, girthy fish. Definitely would be a keeper if I was keeping fish, but I'm gonna get this guy back. Let's get the old slow-mo release. You ready? Here we go. Here comes one. Got him. Oh. Maybe that's what I needed to do, was just hold the phone right there. Hey, look at that. <laughs> Not too bad. Not for tonight, man. That's actually a pretty decent fish. And I'm going to get this fish off, talk about it a little, as I am still filming. You guys saw that. I can't believe it. I, uh, I couldn't get a fish to save my life until I actually put the phone up to the pole so it had the optimum view. That was unbelievable. Check out that nice crappie, you guys. Huh? We're gonna put that one back because I'm not keeping any fish tonight. Get on back in there. Come on. There you go. See you later. All right. I'm gonna get back down there and let it sit for a minute. There's one high up right there, though. That's a nice fish, usually. If they're high up in the water column and they're and they're aggressive, sometimes they'll. They'll just bite your face off, you know what I mean? Like, they get into face biting. Here he comes, face biter. Here he comes. Got him! Oh, well, he's a little bit heavier. Uh-huh, nice. Oh, boy. We're getting some bigger ones, you guys. Shh. Another nice one. Another really nice fish, man. That's just awesome. 
Wow. Look at that. That is so sweet. If I was keeping them, for real, this would be the way to go. Got to get this guy back in, though. Get back down there. There you go. See you later. I am getting into some bigger fish. I just went and did a live video on my Facebook account. My Facebook account, I actually have over 26,000 followers now. And um, doing a lot of reels and making a lot of posts and doing some live videos like I just did. And uh, go on over there and check it out. Make sure you send me a friend request. I'm ready, man. I'm ready to be uh, right there showing you exactly what's going on with the old catch some fish. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm just thinking there's a crappie coming after me, so I, I lost my train of thought. You know how they say when you're frustrated with a situation, walk away from it, come back later, and it'll be fine? How do you do that with this? I got a fish literally chasing me all over the water column. He gets me, bites me, and then I cannot catch him. I can't catch him, you guys. He, he bites, and then I can't catch him. I don't know what to do. He's... He's committing, he's doing his job. I'm here with a bait. He's, obviously he's not biting correctly. What do we got going on here? Sounds a little bit scary. That's a little bit scary out there. I wonder if that's what it sounds like when I'm driving. Can I help you? Hello? Hey. Can I help you? Hello? Hello? Yeah, Mikey. I'm like, who Hello. the fudge is coming up here? <laughs> uh, I was just sitting at home in my pajamas and figuring out to right. scoop to you. I got a uh, I got a fish up top here. Hold on one oh, sec. He's getting he just showed up. Mm -hmm. I'm literally about to leave. It sounded like you were gonna go through as you came up to me. I thought you were a guy pulling a freaking ice castle or something. Yeah, it's been cracky cracky. I'm glad I had my windows up when I drove out. <laughs> Dude, look at how thin it is, and I'm sitting on this. It's really not that thick. It's really not? No. It's pushing water up. I had to like throw some, I like scooped it off at first and was gonna do some clear fishing or whatever. And I had to like throw snow back on there because it was pushing water up. Wow. I'm like, uh, but it's been fine all night until you drove up. Oh, there's one right there. He bit good. Hello, big fella. Well, not too big, but you are a little bit big for your size. <laughs> I had to switch back to minnows to catch another fish. Mikey B showed up. And uh, because of the COVID situation at my house, he's outside drilling his own holes and setting up his own stuff. All right, we're gonna get this guy back. Bye, buddy. Bye. Got another one there. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Another decent fish on the dead stick, man. The dead stick is definitely beating the hell out of Beating the hell out of the jigging tonight. Man, this is a beauty. Nice fish. That's a pretty one right on the bottom of that fin. Do you see that? Right on the bottom, got that red stuff. But just on the fin, if I was keeping fish tonight, that's definitely, definitely one I would keep for sure. It's a beauty of a fish. I love getting out in this single man shack and getting on these crappies. Tonight was a pucker up night, man. It's a lot thinner ice than I thought when I got out here. So uh, just crazy, but I'm gonna get this guy back. And uh, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do the old slow-mo release. You ready? Here we go.
Okay, we're gonna have to pause the slow-mo release. We're gonna have to redo it. We're gonna do the old slow-mo release. You ready? Here we go. There's a fish. Ooh, that's got some weight to it, you guys. Nice. It'd be a good fish to end on right here. Yep. Per perfect fish. <laughs> you don't get away. <laughs> uh, you thought you did. I thought you did. Everybody thought you did. You did not get away. Very nice fish to end on, you guys. Beautiful girthy big old mouth and it's been just a fun evening getting away from the house after being on quarantine for so long getting out on the ice and i might be on a little bit of thin ice here but <laughs> the truck is beside me and it's still not floating so that's good but for me and for the big crappie that i got after all the good numbers fish brain chain out Let's get this guy back in. Well, I'm back, big fella. Bye.